Hey guys, welcome to Perfect Vocals Academy. Editing the timing of vocals can really be a headache sometimes, but I wanna show you the easiest and most natural sounding way to edit vocals. I'll be using the nudge feature, simple features that come in Pro Tools, and really show you how to dial in that perfect flow that your vocal needs. Before we get into it, hit the subscribe button for me, hit the like button, turn on your notifications. Hey guys, welcome to Perfect Vocals Academy. This next video is going to be about editing the vocal timing. Uh, this is something I covered probably a few years ago, a long time ago. I, I covered using the nudge feature to nudge around vocals, just cutting stuff, moving it around, crossfading, doing manual time editing. It's definitely the most natural way to edit your vocals. If you're using Elastic Audio, that's fine, but sometimes there will be different artifacts or glitches that you will hear or experience. It can honestly be way more tedious as well. So I like to start with just nudging the vocals and moving them around manually. So let's just dive right in. Nudging, you want to make sure you know where the grid is. So first and foremost, turn this grid on right here. I would set it to 16th notes, maybe 8th notes, depending on how busy the vocal is with timing stuff and then make sure your production as you can see is right on with the grid so you have the tempo set correctly so this song's 95 BPM and you should see like there's the tenth bar first count everything's right on the grid so if your instruments are on the grid and your vocals are recorded to those instruments then you should already be close to the grid, but now we can see where perfect is. So I like to just highlight certain sections. So you can see that's a little late. Let me move that crossfade. That's the downbeat right there. And then this hits on an offbeat, which is right here. So you can see that both of those words are a little bit off. So let's highlight that just like that. And in Pro Tools hit Command E. That separates it. Now this block is separated from all the rest of it. Then you can hit uh, on your numeric keypad on the far right of your keyboard. Hopefully your keyboard has a numeric keypad. I know Mac started to do away with having the keypad and you had to buy your own little keypad to hook up USB but that sucks so I just nudged it so minus brings it back and then how far it goes is right here I like to go to the nudge settings I like to do a thousand samples or a hundred or if a thousand is too much you can just double click and like put in like 500 see now that's right on time Cool, and then we can get this yeah right here. Cool, so as you can see, it's all kind of off. See, this one was right on, so that's why it's good to do it in sections. You don't want to move it all. This is all behind a little bit, so you can see it starts off pretty, pretty on. So then you can kind of move in there. So, and then you can crossfade these things just like this. So you highlight the cuts and hit the letter F. Then hit the letter D to fade in like that. Letter G to fade out like that. Nice and on time now. pretty quick oh yeah and then once you move stuff if if you see that you want to just trim it out because it seems like everything's a little off you can just hit f6 and then trim but as you saw right when it gets to there that it starts to rush so then you don't want to trim that far 
So then you could stop, put a crossfade, and then check this out. I'm calling these blue faces. I'm calling these blue faces. I'm calling. Yeah, something about that sounds a little unnatural. So I'm going to drag back the old way and see if it sounds better that way. I'm calling these blue faces. I'm calling these blue faces. So what we're going to do in this instance is I'm going to show you another trick. This is right on time right there. So put a slit there, and then one right there. Because you could see that these words here, those three, are a little behind. So then I'm going to hit F6, and then hit it again, and it turns into this TCE trimmer. See how there's a little clock there? I'm going to drag this to the left a little bit. Yeah, it's better. I'm calling these blue faces. Always wanna be them. Yeah, so you only want to go subtle with the TCE trimmer. It, if you go too too hard with that tool, it can sound glitchy. Let's do the TCE trimmer again right here. That's good. Perfect Vocals Academy presents the Vocal Mixing Masterclass. Do you want to become a profitable audio engineer? This course includes a PVA sound treatment ebook, 15 in depth videos, as well as worksheets for each video. Bonus video How to Profit as an Up and Coming Audio Engineer and a bonus Pro Tools template using Waves plugins is also included. So I kind of gauged it by that word. If you see, see how that word right there is late? It needs to be right on that line. So when I did this, I kind of did it to get closer to that line. It doesn't have to be right on it. Because if it's a little off, you're, you're still letting it have a little bit of natural feel. And that's okay. It's just about what it sounds like. And then we could even nudge it like that. That's good. Okay, so that's that. You want to make sure... When you're nudging things, like I said, that you're highlighting over them and you're crossfading. There should be crossfades everywhere that you broke up the audio. So this will prevent any digital pops or clicks. So that's it for this one, guys. Pretty short and easy, but I just wanted to make it easier on you as far as editing vocals because a lot of times... When you go all out and do the elastic audio or, you know, Pro Tools has something called Beat Detective where it chops it all up and moves all the clips and crossfades. That stuff can work, but try this first because it is such a natural way to go about vocal editing. You're going to love it. So head over to the Vocal Mixing Masterclass and check that out. I really think you're, you're going to love it and it's going to take you to very, very high places in your engineering journey. So check that out, subscribe, share this video with, with some friends. If you know of some Facebook groups uh, that might like these videos, share it. If somebody's talking about something that I talked about and wondering how to do something in a Facebook group, feel free to send them to my channel. I'm trying to help out as many people as I can and turn everybody into pro audio engineers. So I'll see you guys next time.